Should you upgrade or replace your old computer this 2021? Is it worth upgrading or might as well buy a new one? Replacing a hard drive in an SSD is one of the best things that you can do to improve the performance of your older computer. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today, I'm going to upgrade my 2011 IMAX traditional hard drive into Samsung SSD. Before we start, let's go through with the tools that we need. First, I have the T8 and T10 Torx screwdriver as well as the nylon pry tool. This is the two suction cup which will hold the front glass cover. And then we have the OWC thermal sensor cable. We have the 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch SSD adapter. And of course, this is the Samsung Evo 2.5 inch uh, SSD. This is actually a 500 gigabyte. And of course, the microfiber cleaning cloth. Okay, let's start. Attach the two suction cups to the upper corner of the glass front cover of the iMac like this. Gently pull forward holding the suction cups to separate the glass panel from the magnets like this one. Then, carefully set aside the glass cover. Next, we need to detach the display itself. There are 8 screws attached to the display itself. Remove the screws using the T10 Torx screwdriver. Then, being careful not to touch the LCD panel, gently pull the LCD unit forward slightly. At this point, we need to gently detach the four connectors to separate from the LCD. We need to detach the vertical sync cable, backlight power cable, display port cable, as well as the display power cable. After removing the connectors, you can now lift the LCD screen out from the circuit board. The hard drive is located here. First, remove these two T10 screws holding the drive in place. Lean the drive forward slightly, then pull out the hard drive out of the bay. Disconnect the SATA cable, then remove the hard drive. Then, remove the mounting bracket from the original drive. Here, we have the original hard drive and the Samsung SSD as well as the newer tech adapter drive. This adapter 
allows you to install a 2.5 inch drive into 3.5 inch drive bay on the iMac. Using the screws provided, carefully attach the screws to secure the SSD. Now, peel off the electrostatic pad from the original drive, then attach it in the same place on the SSD. Then, attach the mounting bracket to the new one. This is a thermal sensor which is required for any drive installation. This eliminates fan noise when upgrading your iMac. Attach the thermal sensor cable to the SATA power cable. Next, attach the other end of the sensor cable to the power connector on the drive. Then, connect the data cable directly to the SSD. Finally, peel off the paper covering the adhesive on the sensor board and then attach it to the drive like this. Then mount the whole thing back to the drive bay. Don't forget to tighten it with the screws. You can now set the LCD back to the iMac and reattaching the four connectors we removed earlier. Then, lean the display back to the original position. And finally, replace all the teeth and screws and ensure to tighten them all down. And now, using the microfiber cleaning cloth, wipe the LCD panel to remove some dust and some smudges. You can now set the glass cover as shown. But make sure the screen is free from dust and smudges. Now let's see if that upgrade is successful. Power on the iMac, then press and hold Command Option P and R keys immediately after you hear the startup sound. This allows you to reset the NVRAM and SMC which is needed after the upgrade. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. This is way faster than before. 
And now it's time for startup speed test. Let's see how fast is the Samsung SSD, comparing it to the traditional hard drive. As you can see, upgrading your hard drive to an SSD can give you a significant speed boost in a number of ways. Boot time using a solid state drive averages about 10 to 20 seconds as compared to 40 to 50 seconds for a traditional hard drive. So is it worth upgrading your hard drive? Yes, of course. Thanks everyone for watching my video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my TMT channel. This is Herbert, adios.